Hello and welcome to Riverbend Springs. Today we uh, have already cultivated. I'm not saying that I forgot to change the scene, but I, I may have forgotten to change the scene. So you guys don't get to see the cultivation, which is fine. It's just cultivating. We've been doing a lot of that lately, but the big field needs lime. We need to fertilize everything and we're going to get at least two of the fields planted. And uh, I, I might I might have an idea on how to make some extra money. Yeah. But we'll, we'll talk about that later. I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out. We are done putting down the lime. It is time to get everything fertilized. Um, I really don't expect to go through too much, but you, you never know. So we're just gonna see, see how this goes. I knew it wouldn't take too long and I was right. <laughs> so this fertilization is done and we might be done with the case for at least a little bit. I think we're going to plant these two fields right here on each side of us. We're going to get th these guys planted in oats as well. Oats make good money. And I really haven't decided what to do with the big field. I don't want to go all in on just oats. You know what I mean? Um, I know we're going to need a planter for everything else because I believe we have a cedar or I probably have that backwards. It's already been a long day. Okay. But regardless, we're going to go get some planting done and I am hopefully not going to break anything. And also in the meantime, I am going to figure out exactly how I'm going to accomplish what I want to accomplish today. I am definitely going to have to keep my eyes open for a bigger cedar because yeah, this one is definitely not big enough <laughs> this uh 4.6 meters at a time it, it doesn't feel like we are covering enough ground with it unfortunately but you know what eventually something will pop up on the used vehicle market and hopefully when it does we have enough money to afford it even though we're gonna be spending most of our money today at least a quarter of it or half by my math and we all know that i'm not allowed to do math so yeah let's just hope that my calculator was right first field is done and uh good news i just got a call we can actually talk about the uh, crazy idea here for too long um i just need to finish doing what we're doing here and wait for them to get it all set up up there so hold on don't go anywhere. It's, I ha I haven't forgotten. Okay. Okay. Nope. Never mind. I that was wrong. Go go figure. Phoebe's math was wrong. But uh, we 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 still have twenty grand, or eighteen and a half, close enough to twenty. But yeah, no, we are going to go. Oop. I should probably. Oop. Yep. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna have to put that sign back up. But no. We have some, uh, we, a, a new factory. Um, I, I saw it on Facebook. All right. Don't, don't judge me. Now you, you might be thinking, Corby, what are you doing? And trust me, I'm thinking the exact same thing, but, um, on top of this, we got a chainsaw. Okay. We have log forks and we have a log trailer and I have been called to uh, do a lot of like people like really been wanting me to go cut down their dead woods. And I figure if I cut them down, I can bring them over here and, you know, pretty much triple the price of them. I think, I hope, I don't know. So we're gonna go cut down some dead woods and uh, see if my thought process is right. So apparently I am supposed to use this to cut them down um i bought a chainsaw for nothing i guess uh all right uh, i should probably close that he, he gave me a quick little rundown of the 
operation of this. I'm sorry. I am trying to actually find these deadwoods. You know what? I'm just not even going to do that inside. I'm just going to go look around, find them, because he said they are supposed to be spray painted. Um, I don't see any yet, but no, we're going to go take these, use, oh, there's one, use that uh, machine, bring them over, get them all bunched up, delim them, cut them down with our chainsaw, and then uh, take them over to the sawmill factory, or, or sawmill, and, well, the one we got off Facebook, and see, uh, yeah, well, this turns out. Is I looked at the price of planks and by the looks of it, the uh, normal planks don't seem to have very much loss. And due to the fact that they, where did that tree go? Oh, there it is. Uh, they don't have very much loss. I think that we could make a lot of money depending on, well, one, how much we uh, get from each of these trees. And that's why I'm going to be cutting these off as low to the ground as I physically can. And seeing what we can do with it. Uh, is that another one right there? Yep, I see some spray paint. All right, cool. I'm going to go get all these trees cut down. And uh, I'll see you when I have them all over there. So to get my lengths, I just went and drove the trailer up there and just kind of guesstimated. I don't know if it's going to work out well for the sawmill, but I know that they're at least going to not be too long for the uh, trailer. And you know what? That's what I truly care about because I really don't feel like, uh, you know, final destination. If you know, you know. That actually wasn't too bad. So we are going to go get hooked back up, get all of these strapped down, I'm back in cab because, well, I feel better in cab. Should probably get the hazard lights on because, again, final destination. Um, yeah, no, we are uh, going to go take all this back and see how many liters we get and then kind of roughly figure out how much money extra we made. All right, that took the wood right straight out of the trailer. We got 9,000 liters of wood. Let me go do some math. And I promise I'll try to be better about it this time. So if I did my math right, it is, you know, with 9,000, we're just going off 9,000 liters of wood. If we sold that right now, or at its peak, it'd be $16,200 for just the wood. $23,163 or $166 for planks. 20000 $662 for long planks and $20,507 for beams. Um, yeah, I think we just, uh, had a wonderful idea in buying this. Yeah, I think I'm a, uh, I'm a genius. I mean, no, granted, it's not going to be money right now, but it's going to be more money long term because we can keep doing these Deadwood contracts and actually keeping this thing full and running shoot i could probably even cut down one of these trees and max it out i was able to pull it over there i i might do that all right well that's all i wanted to get done today um i'm not totally not gonna cut a tree down and you know try and drag it over there somehow uh don't don't worry about it but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Later. Hey, no. What are you? What are you still doing here? Don't, don't, don't look at the man behind the curtain. Shoo! Go away.